Sang Fet Thai national champion Ramos bronze at the South American Games 2018, the best return of his career so far. Ramos. Long time keeper, RMC. Ishi Hanukkah. It's going to be a very entertaining story. The break between sessions about uh, an unfortunate incident he had whilst them seeing Matt Comey in Dubai. I won't repeat it. It's funny. All sorts of things can happen in boxing rings around boxing events, let me tell you. So into the first round here, Tanarat Tangfed of Thailand is in the red. Miguel Ramos of Venezuela is in the blue. Right hand to the body there from Tangfed. Keeping that head on the move. Sang Fett gloves up. Trying to apply some educated pressure here. Doesn't want to give anything away. Wants to get close and let his hands go. Right into the body there from Sang Fett. Looked to lean in and grab hold. And Ramos did the right thing. Just pushed him off. That was a good combination. Quick hands and accurate as well. He's made a nice start here, Ramos. He looks very purposeful. Like I say, his defence is good. Either the gloves are up or the head is moving. Sang Fett trying to sink that right into the body. Trying to attack the body there, Sang Fett. Good right hand there, though. Good right hand from Sang Fett. And again over the top. And Ramos gets onto the inside, and this is heating up nicely. Midway point of round one. Straight right hand there from Sang Fet. Ramos trying to get close so he can let those hands go. And another shake of the head again there. Right to the body from Ramos. But, but Sang Fet has adjusted well, actually, I think. The early stages, I just wondered whether Ramos would have a bit too much for him. He wasn't going to try and walk through him, Ramos, because, as I say, his defence is good. But he was definitely looking to really pressure him and try and overwhelm him. And it looked like it might be doable, but Sam Fett has, has made some adjustments mm -hmm. since then. Turns out for there briefly. He's thrown that one-two mm -hmm. down the middle. Mm -hmm. Just managed mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. stop him in his tracks a few mm -hmm. times, but still he comes forward here. There's that right hand. He's really sticking it in, isn't he? Ramos. A bit of blood coming from the end of the nose, I think. Ramos has made Sankfeng work very hard in this opening round. He's been throwing that one-two pretty much continually the last 90 seconds and it hasn't given Ramos too much chance to to punch. I'm interested to see what what the judges think about this because he's brought a lot of heat there Ramos and he has had some success but Sang Fett has punched pretty well off the back foot there I think. And has landed with with a good amount. With a good amount. So I would go his way with that. I think he's won that individual battle, but whether he'll win the war or not over the three rounds, don't come in forward, just begins to get on top. And that pressure starts to starts to pay off. Because he doesn't throw a jab, Sang Fed, it's always the one two. And again he's he's just backed up to the corner there. And he is being backed up. I've spoken in previous mm -hmm. fights about fighters 
deliberately giving the ground because they want their opponent to come in so they could catch them on the way in. This isn't like that. This is one fighter pushing the other one back. Ramos. Mm -hmm. Got a left hand away. Left to the body. Mm -hmm. That was a good shot. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on. Stay free, stay free. Just something to really shout at the power of the man to get him to stop boxing. Mm -hmm. Left hand from Ramos. Mm -hmm. And another one. Seinfeld with a, mm -hmm. a big right hand. Missed by a distance right to the body from Seinfeld. Minute into round two. Right to the body from Seinfeld. Ramos comes back with a left. It's a tie fighter. Still just digging those toes in, letting those hands go. Ramos on the inside, mm -hmm. hits him with the right hand. Ramos with the left on the right, right, and he is beginning to get through a little bit more. Goes down to the body, midway point of, of round two. Sankfet with the right to the body, Ramos with the left down the middle. This is a great match. And this round two, I'd say, is, is right in the balance. Sankfet took the first one. 10 nines, all five judges. So Ramos needs this one. Can he turn things up a bit in the final minute? Wait. So looking for that right. Didn't quite have room for it that time. Throws the left foot, moves off. Looks for the right hand over the top. Ramos chucked it down with the left. Missed. the body from saying fat and a good right hand yeah. counter as well but Ramos comes back with a left trying to trap him in the corner the heads maybe cracked together on the inside saying fat just showing Ramos that he's not going to be intimidated there I'm not I'm not saying he stuck the head in or anything but he needed to get out of that corner and he made sure he did it Where now? the uppercut there Ramos final few seconds of round two Ramos Needs round two. It's Sankfet who's on the front foot at the end of the round there. Change of dynamic. Well, there goes the bell. I think the Thai fighter's done enough to take that second round. And that was impressive from him at the end there because he just started to really get on the front foot and, and give it to Ramos a little bit. The Ramos up the up the work rate, up the tempo, definitely had more success in the second round than he did in the first. So let's have a look while wow, the judges go. Four out of five go Ramos there actually. Four out of five go Ramos.